Hello students, a very good and refreshing morning to all of you. So, another week and we are making our syllabus ahead. So, previous week you all have done stuffing. Stuffing was putting the right person at right place. So, I hope the concept of stuffing is clear to all of you. You all have made your notes also. So with a fresh week, we will start with our new chapter. Chapter number 11 that is directing. Directing means to guide. Simple. I am directing you. I am guiding you. So we will do this chapter in detail. So, plus two class, directing means to supervise others, directing means to make your progress towards your objective. If I am a good director, I may lead you to success or to the failure. There will be possibility of two results, either you will be succeeded or you will be failed if you are directed wrong. Before proceeding with the topic, let us first go through the learning objectives of this chapter. So what you will be able to learn, first of all, it helps you to deal with the pillar of management traits. Trait means features. And one of its pillar is directing. To grasp the notion of leadership, to study different managerial grid. Grid means a box having so many rows and columns and in every particular row and column there is a special function to perform and by the help of this chapter you will be able to understand all. It also helps you to study motivational needs and different communication tools used in a company. At the end of the chapter, you will be able to learn about meaning of directing, its features, then importance of directing, four elements of directing, that is supervision, leadership, motivation and communication. Before proceeding our topic, let us go through the directing function of management in Subway, a catering management company. Subway, you all must be familiar with. Subway Eat Fresh, it has its many branches, many restaurants. Subway is an American fast food restaurant franchise that primarily sells submarine sandwiches, subs and Salads. It is owned and operated by Doctors Associate. Including Subway is one of the fastest growing franchise in the world with 42,673 restaurants in 108 countries. It was founded at Bridgeport, Connecticut, US. Its founders were Fred D. Luca and Peter Buck. So, another example which we can see, you all watch movies. You better know that a good director gives a hit movie. Actually, he guides all the cast members how to operate towards the ending of the movie and in regulation with the movement of the story. Moreover, directing can be in the form of actions. So, we can also say directing can be in the form of threat of demotions, salary cutting as actions have to be taken, awards, it can be positive as well as negative also, motivating lectures, family-like environment. So these all are examples of directing followed in different organizations. 
let us proceed with our main example that is of subway how do they direct their employees in directing managers determine direction state a clear vision for employees to follow and help employees understand their role they play in attaining goals so this is the main action plan which subway puts into action the outcome of directing function is a high level of motivation and commitment from employees to the organization we have mcdonalds also we have kfcs also but subway has high turnover rate so what is the reason its direction its policy of directing the employees in subway one of the reasons of success is because of healthy supervisor worker relationship mcdonalds and kfc in comparison has a very low turnover ratio implying that the workers are provided with now what are the actions taken in subway what are their guidelines what are their directions healthy working conditions incentives motivation and efficient communication so they follow all the elements the parts of directing so as to improve and achieve their organizational goals so in this topic we have to cover the following new terms first of all actuating then leading free reign autocratic linking pin coordination and consultiveness so we can say here directing is the heart of management function all other functions of management such as planning organizing staffing they have no importance without directing directing means putting words into actions so there are different methods in which direction can be followed generally we follow three types of method of direction first of all consultative direction as the word suggest consult consult means to take advice from someone before taking a decision so you are consulting a person before putting plans into actions for example say if you are an employee in the organization and you want to improve the packaging criteria in that there is no communication gap in the organization and you are putting your ideas against your supervisor to do your work so he analyze your work he analyze your idea so he consults you whenever a new packing design is formulated so this is called consultative direction next is free reign direction now free reign direction is little bit more liberal than consultative so in consultative terms are limited but in free reign everyone is in that atmosphere of working and a friendly working environment so anyone can give suggestions so as to improve the working conditions of the organization that is free reign direction next is autocratic direction autocratic is do what i say that is you have to do what the authority says you don't have any right to argue to consult to give advice to ask for any other solution simply you have to follow the top level as they are the one who directs you to put your actions into plans so now we will discuss about features of directing first of all pervasive function pervasive means at all levels pervasive is at all levels so directing is required at every level of an organization it flows from top to bottom 
as every manager provides guidance and inspiration to his subordinates now next is management function it is an important managerial function as it helps to initiate action it is from directing that action starts subordinates come to know about their job and they are given instructions directing is a continuous function it is an ongoing function it is required throughout the lifetime an organization exist directing is result oriented because it converts your plans into performance and moreover it helps to measure your performance also directing is a linking function it links your plans with future approach as well as past approach thus you can make a thorough comparison then the directing is related with human factor whom the supervisor has to direct top level is directing whom human beings the employees working in the organization so human factor plays a very important role in direction that how they take the directions how they follow the directions now directing also is creative enough that you every time put forth new ideas so as to become more near to your objectives it means telling people what is to be done and explaining them how to do it issuing orders and instructions to the subordinates supervising their activities providing leadership and motivation the same is the case of subway subway system is committed to providing a variety of wide range of great tasting healthier food choices and reducing environmental footprint creating a positive influence in the community that we serve around the world so what do they do they actually guide and instruct the performance of workers to become best in the world directing is heart of management process it is regarded as spark of life of an organization it actuates subordinates to perform a particular function to know how they can best use their abilities so here we come to know that in management our first phase was planning then we have organizing after that we have staffing then directing and last is controlling so now we are on the fourth phase of management that is directing it's a process wherein the manager sets plans and put those plans into action and all the all actions taken together are towards attainment of organizational goals so first of all instructions are there then instructions are guided to the subordinates a head is appointed to supervise the employees so that the instructions are properly guided and then they are influenced that they are motivated enough someone boost them to work properly according to the requirement of the job so now we are going to discuss about the principles of directing that on what principles on what factors what criteria directing is continued what does it actually comprise of first of all maximum individual contribution now directing aims at getting the maximum out of a person's ability that he can possess all his skills together towards the goal of the organization now directing makes in harmonization of objectives so what is uh, directing doing here harmonization of objectives that 
employees must be satisfied with their salary with the health facilities with the incentives they are provided with so there is harmonization of objectives you are achieving success but not at the cost of employees next is unity of command so this is very important a hierarchy should be there that is flowing from top to bottom now it can be vice versa directing cannot be vice versa it is only from top to bottom next is appropriate direction technique so we have done three techniques of directing what were they consultative directing free rein directing autocratic directing so there should be a technique a method should be there which is followed in the organization on which the actions are put into next is managerial communication now directing is when management or administration itself wants to communicate their ideas and put those ideas into actions with the help of their staff with the help of their employees next is leadership so now the main element of directing so this is very important leadership so influencing people motivating people to contribute towards group objectives and making the all parts of functions working so it helps in achieving the objectives of the organization like directing is heart of the organization if a heart stops working human beings will die so similarly if there is no directing no proper guidance no proper innovation no proper influencement then in that case there will be no proper playing of role of subordinates for make them proper functioning directing should be there next is follow through so follow through now i have guided you so uh, like we are all we all teachers are making videos we all are guiding you that try to understand the concepts try to solve the answers of your own try to get through the topic properly read the pages listen to the videos so we are putting our plans into actions now we will have a follow through follow through in the form of exams worksheets feedback so whenever the school will reopen so there will be a follow up that is reviewing back that what we have guided are you all going through it or not so now we will discuss how directing takes place a common process which is followed in every large or small organization first of all defining the objective objectives are set what is my aim how i want to achieve it where i want to be so i have determined what i want to become now i have defined the objective after that organizing the efforts so defining the objective is also called planning so you are making your plans deciding what is to be done when where who will do it how it will be conducted right then organizing the efforts that is you are assembling things here and there making out connective ways to get your things in your hand that to create such an environment in your atmosphere in your atmosphere of the organization so that employees can do easy work in the large organizations as well as small organizations after assembling after organizing it then developing work now developing work is another name of staffing also so what is this developing your work that is now you are putting all the employees in their respective places and now they have started working there and the last one is measuring the work measuring the work that is now you are taking actions all plans in return like you people suppose uh a day or two days before you all make your time table i will get up 
six o'clock in the morning i will do my learning first then i go for written notes i will do my this subject monday and tuesday science uh, wednesday and thursday so you have make a defined objective your objective is to get sc good score then you organize your efforts you start arranging the material you start exploring the google you have started listening the videos properly reading the books so then you have put your plans into actions how you have put like you have synchronized your time you have set your time that what time i'm going to deliver to which subject but the next is directing initiating the actions actuating the plans that whatever you have written whatever you have made in statements are you all putting them into action so whatsoever be the name used in carrying out the function the manager must clarify his subordinates what they have to do and in what manner motivating them facilitating facilitating the employees to do the best of their capability so this is directing now we will discuss about importance of directing so first of all improves efficiency through direction the role of subordinates will become clear and managers make use of various skills to inspire the subordinates and moreover a manager persuade the subordinate to put in their best toward the objectives he promotes cooperation and commitment among the members of the organization directing also helps in starting the work performance they initiate actions a director a supervisor instructs guide sometimes do the counseling motivates become a good leader and from that action begins next is coordination so directing integrate efforts collect efforts they help in proper direction they help in proper integration of efforts in a single path moreover direction also helps in setting up a common human behavior to show their responsibilities and to show their concern for the organization in case of changes that how well they can adapt themselves with the environmental changes of the organization how they can cope up with the changes so it can be internal or external sometimes changes can be internal that is within the organization a promotion a transfer shift in branch so internal or external you can say change in government policies closure of a unit so every possible environment how an employee adjust that is called directing moreover directing also help in resolving conflicts between individual and the organization because through motivation proper leadership through guidance they are achieving the organizational goals but they are also achieving their personal goals suppose you are working in an organization and you are at a good position you are working hard for the organization's betterment but unless otherwise you are also compensating for your own goals your own goals in life feeding your family or getting good luxuries for your family you are getting high salaries a good status in the society so you are balancing your own goals and the organizational goals moreover it provides stability now if organization is stable it is ever lasting for last 10 years 20 years 30 years 40 years an organization exists so who is behind it a team a director a person a person or a team of person it should be a team of persons a group of employees those who are working for the organization for its long term survival but there is 
a blend there is a mixture of judicious things like good leaders good communicators strict supervisors efficient motivation sometimes liberal sometimes more strict so there is stability and that stability leads to the growth moreover if directing is good your objectives are achieved of their own directing helps in effective delegation of authority directing helps in effective delegation of authority you have done in chapter of organization what is delegation granting the right or power to a person to act on behalf of a authority so now if you are directing it means you are delegating your authority to the juniors to act accordingly creating a motivated workforce so every time human beings are not in a mood of working properly they should be motivated enough inspiration should be there you must know the strength and weakness of your employees that what is to be done to get 100% from your employees ensures conformity so conformity is going in a single direction no one should be having its own benefit at the cost of organization a very good example i am a sales person in xyz they are dealing in engine oil i started taking the cans of engine oil and uh, sell them out the company's name is there but all the sale proceeds are with me only so what is this organization's name and fame is there but the conformity is not there they are at the cost of profit margins profit margins are neglected and insensibility or fraud creates then facilitates controlling directing also helps in facilitating the fifth phase of organi- of organization management that is controlling now you are reviewing what you have achieved if you have not achieved what are my lackings how should i improve them so we can say here that importance of organization lies in the curbing out of the problems of employees and under the function of directing the problems of employees are curbed out also the director motivator a supervisor guides the employees in the right path they deliver work performance of superior quality and in this way they get both the appreciation and salary as well so we can conclude here directing is a management function performed by the top level officers of management a process in which the management instruct guide and oversee the performance of the workers to achieve predetermined goals now you all must read page 292 till 294 of your book as some concepts like principles techniques so they are not covered in the starting of your book so you must listen to the video make proper notes for more clarity of the concept refer the given link watch this link and you will be having a sound approach of the topic again and try to answer the questions here first of all tqm is a strategy that is designed to change the quality of a product to satisfy customer needs by using the concepts of dash the problem solved approach used by management hierarchy is the three essential managerial skills put forth by cats cats is an author include 
डायरेक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ट्रू और फॉल्स सो रीड योर पेजेस थॉरली ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन सो आई होप द स्टार्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग इट्स फीचर्स प्रिंसिपल्स टेक्निक्स इंपॉर्टेंस इज नाउ क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टूमोरो अगेन वील स्टार्ट विद द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग Thank you